Gender studies is a field for interdisciplinary study devoted to gender identity and gendered representation as central categories of analysis. This field includes women's studies concerning women, feminism, gender, and politics, men's studies and queer studies. Sometimes, gender studies is offered together with study of sexuality. These disciplines study gender and sexuality in the fields of literature, language, geography, history, political science, sociology, anthropology, cinema, media studies, human development, law, public health and medicine. It also analyzes how race, ethnicity, location, class, nationality, and disability intersect with the categories of gender and sexuality. Regarding gender, Simone de Beauvoir said, "One is not born a woman; one becomes one." This view proposes that in gender studies, the term gender should be used to refer to the social and cultural constructions of masculinities and femininities and not to the state of being male or female in its entirety. However, this view is not held by all gender theorists. Beauvoir's is a view that many sociologists support see sociology of gender, though there are many other contributors to the field of gender studies with different backgrounds and opposing views, such as psychoanalyst Jacques Lacan and feminists such as Judith Butler. Gender is pertinent to many disciplines, such as literary theory, drama studies, film theory, performance theory, contemporary art history, anthropology, sociology, sociolinguistics and psychology. However, these disciplines sometimes differ in their approaches to how and why gender is studied. For instance in anthropology, sociology and psychology, gender is often studied as a practice, whereas in cultural studies representations of gender are more often examined. In politics, gender can be viewed as a foundational discourse that political actors employ in order to position themselves on a variety of issues. Gender studies is also a discipline in itself, incorporating methods and approaches from a wide range of disciplines. Each field came to regard gender as a practice, sometimes referred to as something that is performative. Feminist theory of psychoanalysis, articulated mainly by Julia Kristeva, the semiotic and abjection, and Bracca L. Ettinger, the feminine prematernal maternal matrixial eros of borderlinking and compassion, matrixial trans subjectivity and the primal mother fantasies, and informed both by Freud, Lacan and the object relations theory, is very influential in gender studies. According to Sam Killerman, gender can also be broken into three categories, gender identity, gender expression, and biological sex. These three categories are another way of breaking down gender into the different social, biological, and cultural constructions. These constructions focus on how femininity and masculinity are fluid entities and how their meaning is able to fluctuate depending on the various constraints surrounding them. Influences Psychoanalytic theory A number of theorists have influenced the field of gender studies significantly, specifically in terms of psychoanalytic theory. Among these are Sigmund Freud, Jacques Lacan, Julia Kristeva, Bracca L. Ettinger, and Mark Blechner. Gender studied under the lens of each of these theorists looks somewhat different. In a Freudian system, women are mutilated and must learn to accept their lack of a penis. In Freud's terms a deformity. Lacan, however, organizes femininity and masculinity according to different unconscious structures. Both male and female subjects participate in the phallic organization, and the feminine side of sexuation is supplementary, and not opposite or complementary. The concept of sexuation sexual situation, which posits the development of gender roles and role play in childhood, is useful in countering the idea that gender identity is innate or biologically determined. In other words, the sexuation of an individual has as much, if not more, to do with their development of a gender identity as being genetically sexed male or female. Julia Kristeva has significantly developed the field of semiotics. She contends that patriarchal cultures, like individuals, have to exclude the maternal and the feminine so that they can come into being. Mark Blechner expanded psychoanalytic views of sex and gender. He has argued that there is a gender fetish 
In Western society, in which the gender of sexual partners is given enormously disproportionate attention over other factors involved in sexual attraction, such as age and social class, Bracca L. Ettinger transformed subjectivity in contemporary psychoanalysis since the early 1990s with the matrixial feminine maternal and prematernal eros of borderlinking border alliance, borderspacing borderspacement and co-emergence. The matrixial feminine difference defines a particular gaze and it is a source for trans-subjectivity and transjectivity in both males and females. Ettinger rethinks the human subject as informed by the archaic connectivity to the maternal and proposes the idea of a Demeter-Persephone complexity. Cultures can have very different norms of maleness and masculinity. Blechner identifies the terror, in Western males, of penetration. Yet in many societies, being gay is defined only by being a male who lets himself be penetrated. Males who penetrate other males are considered masculine and not gay and are not the targets of prejudice. In other cultures, however, receptive fellatio is the norm for early adolescence and seen as a requirement for developing normal manliness. Topic. Feminist psychoanalytic theory Feminist theorists such as Juliette Mitchell, Nancy Chodoro, Jessica Benjamin, Jane Gallup, Bracca L. Ettinger, Shoshana Fellman, Griselda Pollock, Luz Irigare and Jane Flax have developed a feminist psychoanalysis and argued that psychoanalytic theory is vital to the feminist project and must, like other theoretical traditions, be criticized by women as well as transformed to free it from vestiges of sexism i.e. being censored. Shulamith Firestone, in The Dialectic of Sex calls Freudianism the misguided feminism and discusses how Freudianism is almost completely accurate, with the exception of one crucial detail, everywhere that Freud writes, penis, the word should be replaced with, power. Critics such as Elizabeth Gross accuse Jacques Lacan of maintaining a sexist tradition in psychoanalysis. Others, such as Judith Butler, Bracca L. Ettinger, and Jane Gallup, have used Lacanian work, though in a critical way, to develop gender theory. According to J. B. Marchand, the gender studies and queer theory are rather reluctant, hostile to see the psychoanalytic approach. For Jean Claude Guillebeau, gender studies and activists of sexual minorities besieged and consider psychoanalysis and psychoanalyst as the new priests, the last defenders of the genital normality, morality, moralism or even obscurantism." Judith Butler's worries about the psychoanalytic outlook under which sexual difference is «undeniable» and pathologizing any effort to suggest that it is not so paramount and unambiguous. Quote dot. According to Daniel Bone and Katerina Ray, the gender studies often criticized psychoanalysis to perpetuate a family and social model of patriarchal, based on a rigid and timeless version of the parental order. <laughs> <laughs> Literary theory Psychoanalytically oriented French feminism focused on visual and literary theory all along. Virginia Woolf's legacy as well as Adrian Rich's call for women's revisions of literary texts, and history as well, has galvanized a generation of feminist authors to reply with texts of their own. Griselda Pollock and other feminists have articulated myth and poetry and literature, from the point of view of gender. Postmodern influence The emergence of postmodernism theories affected gender studies, causing a movement in identity theories away from the concept of fixed or essentialist gender identity, to postmodern fluid or multiple identities. The impact of poststructuralism, and its literary theory aspect postmodernism, on gender studies was most prominent in its challenging of grand narratives. Post-structuralism paved the way for the emergence of queer theory in gender studies, which necessitated the field expanding its purview to sexuality, in addition to the expansion to include sexuality studies. Under the influence of postmodernism, gender studies has also turned its lens toward masculinity studies, due to the work of sociologists and theorists such as R. W. Connell, Michael Kimmel, and E. Anthony Rotundo. These changes and expansions have led to some contentions within the field, such as the one between second-wave feminists and queer theorists. Theorists. The line drawn between these two camps lies in the problem as feminists see it of queer theorists arguing that everything is fragmented and there are not only no grand narratives but also no trends or categories. 
Feminists argue that this erases the categories of gender altogether but does nothing to antagonize the power dynamics reified by gender. In other words, the fact that gender is socially constructed does not undo the fact that there are strata of oppression between genders. Topic. Development of theory Topic. History The history of gender studies looks at the different perspectives of gender. This discipline examines the ways in which historical, cultural, and social events shape the role of gender in different societies. The field of gender studies, while focusing on the differences between men and women, also looks at sexual differences and less binary definitions of gender categorization. After the universal suffrage revolution of the 20th century, the women's liberation movement of the 1960 and 1970s promoted a revision from the feminists to actively interrogate the usual and accepted versions of history as it was known at the time. It was the goal of many feminist scholars to question original assumptions regarding women's and men's attributes, to actually measure them, and to report observed differences between women and men. Initially, these programs were essentially feminist, designed to recognize contributions made by women as well as by men. Soon, men began to look at masculinity the same way that women were looking at femininity, and developed an area of study called men's studies. It was not until the late 1980s and 1990s that scholars recognized a need for study in the field of sexuality. This was due to the increasing interest in lesbian and gay rights, and scholars found that most individuals will associate sexuality and gender together, rather than as separate entities. A study of drivers' propensity to use traffic information system showed that income and car ownership play an important role in travel behavior for men, while education and occupation were identified significant in the women's behavior. Although doctoral programs for women's studies have existed since 1990, the first doctoral program for a potential PhD in gender studies in the United States was approved in November 2005. In 2015, Kabul University became the first university in Afghanistan to offer a master's degree course in gender and women's studies. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Women's studies. Women's studies is an interdisciplinary academic field devoted to topics concerning women, feminism, gender, and politics. It often includes feminist theory, women's history e.g. a history of women's suffrage and social history, women's fiction, women's health, feminist psychoanalysis and the feminist and gender studies influenced practice of most of the humanities and social sciences. Topic. Men's studies. Men's studies is an interdisciplinary academic field devoted to topics concerning men, masculism, gender, and politics. It often includes feminist theory, men's history and social history, men's fiction, men's health, feminist psychoanalysis and the feminist and gender studies influenced practice of most of the humanities and social sciences. Timothy Laurie and Anna Hickey Moody suggest that there have always been dangers present in the institutionalization of masculinity studies. As a semi-gated community, and note that a certain triumphalism vis-a-vis -vis feminist philosophy haunts much masculinity's research. Topic. Gender in Asia Certain issues associated with gender in Eastern Asia and the Pacific region are more complex and depend on location and context. For example, in China, Vietnam, Thailand, Philippines and Indonesia, a heavy importance of what defines a woman comes from the workforce. In these countries, gender-related challenges tend to be related to economic empowerment, employment, and workplace issues, for example related to informal sector workers, feminization of migration flows, workplace conditions, and long-term social security. However, in countries who are less economically stable, such as Papua New Guinea, Timor-Leste, Laos, Cambodia, and some provinces in more remote locations, women tend to bear the cost of social and domestic conflicts and natural disasters. One issue that remains consistent throughout all provinces in different stages of development is women having a weak voice when it comes to decision-making. One of the reasons for this is the 
growing trend to decentralization which has moved decision making down to levels at which women's voice is often weakest and where even the women's civil society movement which has been a powerful advocate at national level struggles to organize and be heard east asia pacific's approach to help mainstream these issues of gender relies on a three pillar method pillar 1 is partnering with middle income countries and emerging middle income countries to sustain and share gains in growth and prosperity Pillar 2 supports the developmental underpinnings for peace, renewed growth and poverty reduction in the poorest and most fragile areas. The final pillar provides a stage for knowledge management, exchange and dissemination on gender-responsive development within the region to begin. These programs have already been established, and successful in, Vietnam, Thailand, China, as well as the Philippines, and efforts are starting to be made in Laos, Papua New Guinea, and Timor-Leste as well. These pillars speak to the importance of showcasing gender studies. Topic. Judith Butler The concept of gender performativity is at the core of philosopher and gender theorist Judith Butler's work Gender Trouble. In Butler's terms the performance of gender, sex, and sexuality is about power in society. She locates the construction of the gendered, sexed, desiring subject in regulative discourses a part of butler's argument concerns the role of sex in the construction of natural or coherent gender and sexuality in her account gender and heterosexuality are constructed as natural because the opposition of the male and female sexes is perceived as natural in the social imaginary topic <laughs> criticisms Historian and theorist Brian Palmer argues that gender studies' current reliance on post-structuralism, with its reification of discourse and avoidance of the structures of oppression and struggles of resistance, obscures the origins, meanings, and consequences of historical events and processes, and he seeks to counter current trends in gender studies with an argument for the necessity to analyze lived experiences and the structures of subordination and power. Authors Daphne Patai and Norita Korge propose in the book Professing Feminism, Education and Indoctrination in Women's Studies that the attempt to make women's studies serve a political agenda has led to problematic results such as dubious scholarship and pedagogical practices that resemble indoctrination more than education. Rosie Bredo T. 1994 has criticized gender studies as the takeover of the feminist agenda by studies on masculinity, which results in transferring funding from feminist faculty positions to other kinds of positions. There have been cases of positions advertised as gender studies being given away to the bright boys. Some of the competitive takeover has to do with gay studies. Of special significance in this discussion is the role of the mainstream publisher Routledge who, in our opinion, is responsible for promoting gender as a way of deradicalizing the feminist agenda, remarketing masculinity and gay male identity instead." Calvin Thomas countered that, "...as Joseph Allen Boone points out, many of the men in the academy who are feminism's most supportive allies are gay," and that it is "...disingenuous." To ignore the ways in which mainstream publishers such as Routledge have promoted feminist theorists, gender studies, and more particularly queer studies within gender studies, were repeatedly criticized by the Vatican. Pope Francis spoke about ideological colonization, by which he meant that gender ideology threatens traditional family and fertile heterosexuality. France was one of the first countries where this claim became widespread when Catholic movements marched in the streets of Paris against the Bill on Gay Marriage and Adoption. Bruno Perrault has shown that this fear has deep historical roots. He argues that the rejection of gender studies and queer theory expresses anxieties about national identity and minority politics. Teaching certain aspects of gender theory was banned in public schools New South Wales after an independent review into how the state teaches sex and health education and the controversial material included in the teaching materials. Topic. State and governmental attitudes to gender studies In Central and Eastern Europe anti -gender movements are on the rise, especially, in Hungary, Poland, and Russia. Russia 
In Russia gender studies are at the moment tolerated, however state support practices that pushes gender agenda related to perspectives on gender of those in power, e.g. law solving in detail specifics of domestic violence was abolished in 2017. Since 2010 the Russia has also been leading a campaign at the UNHRC to recognize so-called traditional values as a legitimate consideration in human rights protection and promotion. Hungary. Gender studies programs were banned in Hungary in October 2018. In a statement released by Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban's office, a spokesperson stated that the government's standpoint is that people are born either male or female, and we do not consider it acceptable for us to talk about socially constructed genders rather than biological sexes. The ban has attracted criticism from several European universities which offer the program, among them the Budapest based Central European University, whose charter was revoked by the government, and is widely seen as part of the Hungarian ruling party's move towards totalitarianism. China The Central People's Government supports studies of gender and social development of gender in history and practices that lead to gender equality. Citing Mao Zedong's philosophy, women hold up half the sky, this may be seen as continuation of equality of men and women introduced as part of cultural revolution. Topic other people whose work is associated topic See also topic References topic Bibliography Armstrong, Carol, De Zegger, Catherine the 27th of October 2006. Women Artists at the Millennium. MIT Press. ISBN 978-0-262-01226-3. OCLC 62766150. Berger, Anne Emmanuel. September 2016. Gender Springtime in Paris: A 21st Century Tale of Seasons. Differences. A Journal of Feminist Cultural Studies, 27, 2, 1 to 26. DOI: 10.1215/1040739136216854. Boone, Joseph Allen, Cadden, Michael, eds. 1990. Engendering Men, The Question of Male Feminist Criticism. Routledge. ISBN 978-0415902557. OCLC 20992567. Butler, Judith, 16 December 1993. Bodies That Matter, On the Discursive Limits of Sex. New York, Routledge. ISBN 978-0-415-90366-0. OCLC 27897792. Butler, Judith Summer 1994. Feminism by Any Other Name Judith Butler Interviews Rosie Bredotti PDF, Differences, A Journal of Feminist Cultural Studies, 6, 2-3, 272-361. Butler, Judith 1999. Gender Trouble, Feminism and the Subversion of Identity 2nd ed. New York, Routledge. ISBN 978-0-415-92499-3. OCLC 41326734. Conte, Richard C. March 2008. Gay Men and the Forms of Contemporary U.S. Culture. London, Ashgate Publishing. ISBN 0-7546-7230-1. OCLC 173218594. Cardenas, Micah and Barbara Fornseller, 2010. Trans Desire, Effective Cyborgs. New York, Atropos Press. ISBN 0-9825309-9-4 Clark, April K. March 2017. Updating the Gender Gaps, a multi-level approach to what underpins changing cultural attitudes. Politics and Gender, 13, 1, 26 to 56. DOI 101017 s 174392x1600520. Cranny Francis, Anne, Kirkby, Joan, Stavropoulos, Pam, Waring, Wendy. The 28th of November 2002. Gender Studies: Terms and Debates. Basingstoke, Palgrave Macmillan. ISBN 978-0-333-77612-4. OCLC 50645644. De Beauvoir, Simone December 1989. The Second Sex. 
Translated by Borg, Constance, Malavani Chevalier, Sheila Reissue ed. New York, Vintage. ISBN 978-0-333-77612-4. OCLC 50645644. Ettinger, Bracca L. The 30th of September 2001. The Red Cow Effect. In How, Micah, Aguiar, Sarah A. He said, she says, an RSVP to the mail text. Fairla Dickinson University Press. pp. 57 to 88. ISBN 9780838639153. OCLC 46472137. Ettinger, Bracca L. January 2006. Masumi, Brian, ed. The Matrixial Border Space: Theory Out of Bounds. Forward by Judith Butler. Introduction by Griselda Pollock. University of Minnesota Press. ISBN 9780816635870. OCLC 62177997. Ettinger, Bracca L. 2006. From Proto-Ethical Compassion to Responsibility, Besidedness, and the Three Primal Mother Fantasies of Not Enoughness, Devouring and Abandonment. Athena, Philosophical Studies. Volume 2. ISSN 1822-5047. Farrell, Warren the 31st of January 2001 first published in 1993 as The Myth of Male Power, Why Men Are the Disposable Sex. The Myth of Male Power reprint ed. New York, Berkeley Publishing Corporation. ISBN 978-0425181447. Farrell, Warren, Svoboda, Stephen, Sterba, James P. The 10th of October 2007. Does feminism discriminate against men? A debate. Point, counterpoint. Oxford University Press. ASIN B019L52IHW. Foucault, Michel. The 1st of November 1988. The Care of the Self, The History of Sexuality, 3 reprint ed. Vintage Books USA. ISBN 978-0-394-74155-0. OCLC 20521501. Foucault, Michel the 31st of December 1990. History of Sexuality, An Introduction. Vintage Books. ISBN 978-0-679-72469-8. OCLC 5102034. Foucault, Michel, the 1st of March 1990. The Use of Pleasure, The History of Sexuality, 2. Vintage Books. ISBN 978-0-394-75122-1. OCLC 5102034. Foucault, Michel, the 1st of January 1995. Discipline and Punish: The Birth of the Prison. Translated by Sheridan, Allen. Random House. ISBN 9780679752554. OCLC 32367111. Fraser, Nancy, Butler, Judith, Benhabib, Sela, Cornell, Drusilla, the 6th of April 1995. Feminist Contentions, A Philosophical Exchange. New York, Routledge. ISBN 978-0-415-91086-6. OCLC 30623637. Frug, Mary Jo. A Postmodern Feminist Legal Manifesto An Unfinished Draft, in Harvard Law Review, Volume 105, No. 5, March, 1992, pp. 1045-1075. ISSN 0017-811-X Grebovich, Margaret, ed., 4 January 2007. Gender after Lyotard. State University of New York Press. ISBN 978-0-7914-6956-9. OCLC 63472631. Healy, Joseph F. The 25th of March 2003. Race, Ethnicity, Gender and Class, The Sociology of Group Conflict and Change 3rd ed. Sage Publications. ISBN 978-0-7619-8763-5. OCLC 50604843. Collert, Heike, Schaefer, Sabine, eds. 2012. 
Engendering Transformation. Post-Socialist Experiences on Work, Politics and Culture. Opladen, Berlin, London, Toronto, Barbara Budrich Publishers. ISBN 9783866494220. Hemmings, Claire. September 2016. Is Gender Studies Singular? Stories of Queer, Feminist Difference and Displacement. PDF. Differences. A Journal of Feminist Cultural Studies, 27, 2, 79 to 102. Doi 101215 10.1215/1040739136217211. Kana, Ranjana. September 2016. On the Name, Ideation, and Sexual Difference, Differences, A Journal of Feminist Cultural Studies, 27, 2, 62-78. doi, 10.1215, Christova, Julia the 14th of May 1984 first published 1980 in French as Pouvoirs de l'Horaire by Editions du Soy. Powers of Horror. Translated by Rowdies, Leon S. Reprinted ed. Columbia University Press. ISBN 978-0-231-05347-1. OCLC 8430152. McElroy, Wendy the 31st of May 2001. Sexual Correctness, The Gender Feminist Attack on Women. Jefferson, North Carolina, McFarland and Company. ISBN 978-0-7864-0226-7. OCLC 34839792. Oyawumi, Oyeronk, ed., 13 October 2006. African Gender Studies, a Reader. London, Palgrave Macmillan. ISBN 978-1-4039-6283-6. Palmer, Brian D. Descent into Discourse, The Reification of Language and the Writing of Social History Critical Perspectives on the Past Series Reprint ed. Philadelphia, Temple University Press. ISBN 978-0-87722-720-5. OCLC 233,030,494. Pinker, Susan the 29th of February 2008. The Sexual Paradox, Extreme Men, Gifted Women and the Real Gender Gap. Random House of Canada Limited. ISBN 978-0-679-31415-8. OCLC 181078409. Pollock, Griselda the 7th of March 2001. Florence, Penny, ed. Looking Back to the Future, 1990-1970, Essays on Art, Life and Death Critical Voices in Art, Theory and Culture. Routledge. ISBN 978-90-5701-132-0. OCLC 42875273. Pollock, Griselda the 22nd of November 2007. Encounters in the Virtual Feminist Museum, Time, Space and the Archive. Routledge. ISBN 978-0-415-41374-9. OCLC 129952714. Pulkinen, Tuija, September 2016. Feelings of Injustice, the Institutionalization of Gender Studies and the Pluralization of Feminism. Differences, A Journal of Feminist Cultural Studies, 27, 2, 103 to 124. doi 10.1215/1040739136217333. Reeser, Todd W. Masculinities in Theory: An Introduction. Wiley Blackwell. ISBN 9781405168601. Scott, Joan W. The 1st of February 2000. Gender and the Politics of History, Second Revised Ed. Columbia University Press. ISBN 9780231118576. Specter, Judith A. Ed. The 15th of December 1986. Gender Studies: New Directions in Feminist Criticism. Bowling Green University Popular Press. ISBN 978-0-87972-351-4.
Thomas, Calvin, the 1st of October 1999. Introduction, identification, appropriation, proliferation. In Thomas, Calvin, Straight with a Twist: Queer Theory and the Subject of Heterosexuality. University of Illinois Press. ISBN 978-0-252-06813-3. Weed, Elizabeth. September 2016. Gender and the Lure of the Postcritical. Differences, a Journal of Feminist Cultural Studies, 27, 153 153-157. doi, 10.1215, 1040739136217. Wright, Elizabeth, the 1st of September 2000. Lacan and Postfeminism. Icon Books Limited. ISBN 978-1-84046-182-4. OCLC 44484099. Zyko, Vanda, Leonard, Miriam, eds. The 12th of January 2006. Laughing with Medusa: Classical Myth and Feminist Thought. Classical Presences. Oxford University Press. ISBN 9780199274383. De Zegger, M. Catherine, ed. The 8th of May 1996. Inside the Visible, Elliptical Traverse of Twentieth-Century Art in, of and from the Feminine, Second Ed. MIT Press. ISBN 978-0-262-54081-0. OCLC 33863951. External links Genport, your gateway to gender and science resources XY, men, masculinities and gender politics Gendra, onomastics gender inference for gender studies WICT, gender inequities in the classroom Children's gender beliefs Gender Museum, a museum of women's history and women and gender movement Gender stereotypes, changes in people's thoughts, a report based on a survey on roles of men and women Karelian Center for Gender Studies Regional NGO KCGS Nordic Countries Defund Gender Ideology The Gender Equality Paradox Obama Pushes for Equal Pay for Women Entrepreneurship in Asia A Look at the Changing Culture of Women Entrepreneurship in Asia